Hello everybody, this is Mateo, and we have another really tough level here. This is again considered to be one of the hardest levels of the game, along with some other ones that I've mentioned before. However, it's a really long one, and my god, that lightning constantly is really going to get to me, I swear. Uh, but yeah, oh boy, do we have a lot to go through in order to get the red gem here. Just so much stuff, this weird hand will grab you, I don't even want to know what that is. Uh, so, yeah, watch out for that. And we want to make sure we get all the boxes here too, otherwise it's not going to be fun. Also, there's no Tana here, only Nitrous Brio, so that's awesome. And we also have these birds that we're going to need to be using to make some jumps. Uh, especially later on. Oh man, were there boxes in other windows? I sure hope so, because I wasn't paying attention to that. I feel as though that was the only one. I sure hope so. Otherwise, I will get the boxes off screen or something, because I don't want to do this on screen twice. I mean, you should be able to see where all the boxes are. There are no hidden boxes around here. And there's no... You don't need a gem to 100% this level. Also, that guy's hand just kind of went away, I guess. Yeah, see, jumping on birds in order to make progress. It's awesome. Make it? Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, so, as far as I know, so far, so good. These are kind of like uh, the platforms that go in and out of the wall, except they're stairs. So, slightly different, but it's still all timing-based. You just want to be extremely careful at all times, really. Okay, here's quite a bit of timing right here. It's major fun times, but there we go, we did it. Okay, so far so good. Whoa, okay, I almost fell to my death. Obviously the spikes will hurt you. Okay, now we want to go up this thing. We almost didn't make that. Okay, that's very fast. Wow. Okay, let's just jump for it immediately, pretty much. Whoa, okay, I almost died there. There, excuse me. Okay, just a little bit of a break here by going up that elevator thing, and my god. Great, now my thingy is starting to lag. And there's the first checkpoint. Yeah, the first checkpoint. At least I'm pretty sure it's the first checkpoint. I don't remember there being any other one. So let's continue. Oh god, this thing is super weird. Just, it makes sense with how it works and stuff, but it just, it's super weird. Just because I said it is. Therefore, it is super weird. Okay, yeah, see, that was almost really bad. Just because its movement is kind of erratic, I mean, it still moves in a pattern, it's just still erratic, and it's difficult to place exactly where the platform's going to be. As long as I don't jump too far left, I won't hit that... Oh man, I almost got impatient there and just jumped right into that bed of spikes. But as long as I don't jump too far left and hit that spike pole thing, I will be fine and won't die. Um, yeah, like, so. Also, why did I just jump down there? Okay, let's actually, there we go, make it this time. Jumping onto those is the hardest part. And also, I hear some explosions. Oh, man, okay, also, Crash just w runs down those whenever you jump on them when they're still, like, a slide type of thing. Rather than actual stairs. Whoa, okay, that was almost really bad. Good thing that that platform just happened to be there. And now we have to jump over yet another bird. Do it. Yep. Okay, so far so good. I shouldn't say that. Oh man, this is bad, this is bad. Okay, freaking out over. There we go. That's our second Nitrous Brio, so let that... Let, have that let you know just how long this level is. Okay, jump off the bird. There we go. Okay. Oh, man, this hand. Oh, man, that other hand. God, all these hands. They want to grab Crash. Okay, make it. Yeah, and oh, good, and a coup, a coup. But first, Nitrous Brio. Nitrous Brio stands in the way of me getting to my Aku Aku. How dare he. Whoa, I got one life at least. <laughs> that was cool, I guess. Not really. Oh well. And luckily I still got a Kuaku. It didn't like break on me or anything like that. Okay, seven lives. 
let's do this. We Man, I almost didn't make that jump. Just so many close calls in this level. And it's really long too, so you really don't get much of a break. And there are a lot of chances for you to die. Just make sure you study all of the traps. Know their timing and where you want to be with each thing. Oh man, oh man. Oh wow, really? They would do that to me? Okay, let's try to time this well. Get in there, yeah, okay. Now we need to get back on the freaking thing. Whoa, no! God. Okay, I'll meet you all the way back there. I was doing so well. <sighs> meet you back there. God, this thing is lagging so much. Okay, we're just going to quickly do the Nitrous Brio section again. Hopefully I can actually show show some more of it. Nope. <laughs> Never mind. Continuing to cut stuff out then. Okay, so we are back here now. That didn't take all too long actually from the last cut. And I almost fell off. Okay, let's do this. Oh, man, if I had jumped straight down, I probably would have made it. Cutting out again. Oh, man. that God, it takes five minutes to get all the way up there. Multiply that by however much I fail. That's a very long time. I fail a lot. Stupid lag making me think that I need to like readjust myself and then I readjust too much because it's lagging. Nope, did it twice. Okay, apparently Crash's Spin makes his feet invincible from spikes or something. I don't even know what that was. I still fell to my death, but that was weird. I... God! This is stupid! Why can't I suddenly do this? Very first time, I was able to get 5 minutes in the level. Now I can't even get past 20 seconds. Not even that. I'm being generous with myself there. God, that's awful. I suddenly have two lives because of that crap. Wow, I'm about to get a game over, and I was doing so well at the very beginning. But it's because I mentioned that I was doing so well that I'm now doing absolutely awful. That's how it usually works, right? Whoa, okay. Man, that was such the battle to stay on. When they said slippery... Line. They weren't kidding. One life. Let's do this. That was awesome. Why can't Cortex just leave the front door of his castle unlocked like every other video game villain? <coughs> Bowser. <coughs> and we just climb up the stairs or something in order to get to him. I don't know. Why do we have to go through all this crap? And why does it just happen to be raining? Why can't we wait until tomorrow when it'll be sunny and everything won't be slippery? Zero lives. Leroy Jenkins. Well, there we go. Game over. And I had 98 Wumpa Fruits, too. I only had two more to go. Game over. And unfortunately, we don't get this uh, neat little scene. Oh, well, we kind of do, but... Yeah. We don't get a neat little scene when we get a game over. It just literally says, game over, continue, yes. And then you go back to whatever save file you had left. So, yeah. Still here. Continuing on. As though nothing had happened.
Oh, wait, this is new stuff. I should be talking. Oh, hey, this is the end. So wait, yet again, I was dying right by the end. And they congratulate with four more lives. Luckily, I had that Aku Aku. And there we go, that's the end of the level. That should be perfect. Uh, yes, it is indeed perfect. Awesome, okay, we're good. We have progress. Although I do, I must mention that I do absolutely love how I die right at the very end. Just about every single time. Also, we have 75%, three-fourths of the game done. So that's pretty good, considering how much I'm failing and stuff. So, 68% file, save over it. And thus, we can kiss Slippery Climb goodbye forever. That wasn't nearly as bad as some of the other ones. Okay, now then. We have new past levels to do now that we have the red gem. So let's go ahead and head all the way back to Native Fortress. I believe that's the last level of the for of the first island. I almost said fourth for whatever reason, but it is indeed. So there we go. And man, 26 minute recording already. I feel as though I only have about like 10 minutes. So I'll probably do this level and then call it there. So off. Oh, what is with me and completely failing at uh, box jumping? Okay, remember when this was a dangerous trap? No, no longer. We're experienced Crash Bandicoot players. We finished Slippery Climb. Also, are there any secret gems here that I should look out for? Okay, nope. Just the ones on the Red Island path. Everything else should be pretty straightforward. Good. That's the way I like my levels. Straightforward and not entirely deadly. It, it can be somewhat deadly to have actual challenge, but not completely deadly. Okay, let's... Oh, yeah, these things. I, I forgot about these things. They're neat. I mean, I really like how they work and whatnot. Oh, man, more chain box jumping. Hey, I did it. Awesome. Okay. That tribal yelling stuff was weird. For whatever reason, I thought that somebody was calling me, but... <laughs> that is not the case. Far from it. Unless the game is talking to me. Like Pokemon Crystal. Which is really just H.C. Bailey, but that's besides the point. If you're wondering what that was, uh, don't go figure out my current Pokemon Let's Play. My po current Pokemon Crystal Let's Play was awful. That was almost bad. And mainly because you couldn't really hear stuff ever. Man, they're putting a lot of traps here, but I am surpassing them quickly and easily. Now, if I remember correctly, the, the gem... What was that about surpassing stuff quickly and easily? I'll meet you back at that native guy. Okay, we are back here. This time we're going to bounce on this native and continuously do so in order to get back at him. Take that native. And now he's gone. Forever flying throughout the world at a speed of about 40 miles per hour because Crash's spin is just that powerful apparently. Okay, let's try to get some lives here, because I could really use them. Watch out for the explosion, though. There we go. That was successful. Even though I'm probably not going to need all these lives. I sure hope not. Now that I've said that, I will. Um, but hopefully this shouldn't take too long, and this is the last level that I'm going to do, because we are actually up to 30 minutes by now. But I'm going to cut out a lot of stuff, so it's not all that bad. But I think we are nearing the end. I'm pretty sure we're heading towards the top level here. And then... Oh, hey, a Koo Koo. Or Witch Doctor's Mask. Oh, fall all the fall all the way down. Oh, well, at least we didn't fall in a pit or fall even further. That would have been the worst. I don't know. A vertical level really would not work in this game. Strictly because if you fall... You'd fall forever, and then you'd have to climb all the way back up. It would not be fun. But luckily, with whatever vertical sections they do have, they usually have flooring underneath, and, th and then a little horizontal section, and then more flooring to use. So it's not always just vertical. You have landings, like kind of like checkpoints, just in case you do fall. Now, I'm pretty sure I could okay I guess not I guess I have to go off here luckily there are no boxes down that pathway so don't have to worry about it let's go ahead and kill that guy 
Oh man, this is the part with the three fire, I think, right here. Luckily, I know the solution. Okay, not right here, but I'm pretty sure it's this level. We're, it, we're coming up to it. Luckily, I figured out the solution, otherwise we'd be screwed. Also, watch out. Although, I do have a double Aku Aku. Wait, young Padawan me. Now go. Yep. Oh, that's only two. Still, we want to be careful with our fires here. Okay, I'm pretty sure that this is actually the area with it, or maybe it's just not in this level. Never mind. But here we have a whole bunch of red gems. It's insane. Why can't we just grab all of these and these will count as our percentage? Why do we have to get all the silver gems? I feel like red would be better. Because red is probably like a ruby. Silver, we don't know what it is. But here we are on the clouds. This is super weird. And you want to be careful because you fall, you're probably going to fall to your death. Oh man, speaking of falling to your death. Okay, we made it. And there's even more, I do believe. Just a whole bunch of this kind of crap. I don't care, really. Again, I don't care. I could... I don't need the Wumpa Fruits. There we go. I'll grab the life, though, just because. And now we must be careful in heading back. Pretty sure we were right at the end of the level, too. Okay, I think... Yeah, we can just fall down there. And, yeah, we were caught by the gem. Good job, gem. We were not caught by the gem. Horrible job, gem. See you all the way back there. How did I die last time? Did I just fall straight from the very top or something? Oh, that's annoying. Go, go down, go down, gem, go down. There we go. Now we can continue on and get the gem, hopefully, this time. We are nearing 40 minutes of recording, good god. Uh, most of that's going to be edited out. Oh yeah, here's the three flames. I lost my Kuku, but I lived, so that's okay. I sacrificed the life of that mask for the life of me. I am completely okay with this, because I do not want to do this again. And I'm pretty sure that this is near the end of the level. We just gotta... Yep, I hear the end of level thing. We just gotta break these boxes. And fall, apparently. Fall, apparently. Also, I think I hit all these platforms. That was pretty neat. Can I make it? Yeah, I, I, I made it, but then I didn't hit the other one. And then they all went back to normal quickly. And so... God, why? All this is out of sync. Okay, there we go. Now let's actually make the jumps. Okay, what do we got going on over here? Just one last box to possibly screw me up if I were to go t for the uh, level exit too quickly. And... Perfect! Awesome! I enjoy seeing Crash on the right side of that screen. So there we go, look at all those gems. All 18 of them now. So, at 40 minutes, <laughs> I'm going to call it quits. And in the next part, we will do the other level that we need to do. For the red with the red gem, I'm pretty sure there's one. Uh, let me just quick. If so, it's on island two. Uh, yeah, road to nowhere. Oh joy. Yeah, but we're going to go do that next time, and then we'll continue on in the third island. The third island. <sighs> God, 40 minutes of recording. That is by far the longest recording session yet. But anyways, I will see you all next time for road to nowhere. We're going to go meet Car Courage the Cowardly Dog again. God, I butchered that. We're going to go meet Courage the Cowardly Dog again, because I totally haven't made that joke yet in this Let's Play. See you all next time.